Hi there, this is Jerome Alexa from ProSite Tutorials where I talk about the five steps to professional websites. This is the fifth video from my SEO tutorial series and in this next video I'm going to explain how you can decrease the uploading time for your websites. So by following my next tips you will be able to decrease about two seconds or less from the uploading time for your website. And I know that this might not seem a huge deal but on the internet it's really a huge deal because by decreasing the uploading time of your website you will also improve your rankings on Google because they use this as a ranking factor for your website to see the quality that your website has so by decreasing the uploading time your website will also have better rankings on the search engine and you will also decrease the bounce rate for your website this means that people will actually st stick around your website and read your content since it doesn't take forever for them to see your website on their computer screen. In this video I'm going to explain how you can use Cloudflare which is really a fantastic service that you can use for free and it will only take about five minutes so you can start using it. So I'm just going to give you a brief explanation so you can have a better idea of what exactly is this. So when you have a website all of the information of your website is installed on your web host servers and they may have their servers in the USA. So let's imagine that someone from China wants to see your website. Basically what happens is they need to travel from China to USA to your web host servers and get the information from there and retrieve it to China so they can see it on their computer screen. This is really a long distance that they need to travel so they can get your website information. So this means that it also takes a longer time for them to see your website on their computer screen. So what happens when you are using Cloudflare is they have several servers basically spread all over the, the world and when you are using their service your website is copied to their servers. So this means that if someone is in China, instead of needing to go to the USA so they can see your website, they can assess a nearby server belonging to Cloudflare and get you, the information of your website from there. And they probably, I'm not certain, but they probably have a server in China and this way that, that means that person in China can assess that server and it will take far lesser time for them to see your website this way. Okay, so once you go to their website, which is cloudflare.com, you can go below so you can see the different plans they, that they have. You click on this link. I actually just used the free one. It's all that I need, but you might want to check the other ones. You have the Pro, Business, and Enterprise one, and each one of them have different pricings. Below you can see the several features that come with each plan so you may want to check this out and see what you exactly need for your website. Also the other thing about using Cloudflare is since people are assessing their server you also have a lot more protection uh, when it comes to your website because Cloudflare has their own firewalls and so on which allows you to protect your website a lot more. Okay, so once you check this information, I'm just going back to the to the front page. You just need to create an account with them. I already have an account with uh, Cloudflare, so I'm not going to create one. But as you can see, I'm already logged in. But you would see over here an option to create an account. It's really simple. You just need to add your email and also a password and just create an account. Once you log in, this is the first page that you will see. And the only thing that you need to do is simply add the URL for your website, the one that you actually want to use for Cloudflare. So I'm going to have mine. Okay, so HTTP, yes, this is my URL. And now I just need to press scan DNS records, and this will take about one minute, and you will be able to see their video. The Cloudflare system is scanning your setup. This will take about 60 seconds. During this time, we wanted to tell you a bit about how Cloudflare works. In the past, if you wanted your website to be faster, safer, or smarter, you needed to add hardware, install software, or change your code. If you think about it, that's also 1990s. 
Today, Cloudflare works at the network level by taking over your domain's DNS. This allows us to route your good visitors to the fast lane and any bad visitors to a dead end. To make sure there are no interruptions to your website or other services, we need to copy all your current DNS records before the switchover. On the next page, we've copied what we could find of your domain's DNS records. It's important we have everything, so look them over carefully and add any records we may have missed. The optimizer is finishing up. As soon as it appears, click the green button below. The next steps are easy and usually take less time than you've spent watching this video. Okay, so that is done. Once you watch this video, which gave you a brief explanation, you just need to press this continue button. And over here, you can see the information. Just see if everything is correct. If you don't have any kind of problem over here and just press continue. And now you need to select the plan that you want to use. I'm going to use the free option. You may want to use another one. And once again, just press continue. Okay, now they give you, uh, this is my current name servers. This is the ones that I'm using for Hostgator, which is my web host. And you want to redirect your, your name servers to another one, the ones that belong to Cloudflare. And you can see over here below the names. So you need to go where you have your domain names register. I'm using Namecheap. So once I go to Namecheap, I need to go to Domain Management, something like that, and now and then I need to select the domain name, which I, I domain name, I mean the URL which I want to change the DNS, and simply go to Advanced uh, DNS, and over here where you see Domain Name Server Type, and I must remind you this really depends on the um, on where you have your account register. This is with Namecheap. If you are using another uh, register, then it might be a bit different. And I just need to press edit. Over here, I would need to click on custom option. And this will be actually, this will take about five minutes or a couple hours until it actually changes to, it starts pointing to the Cloudflare servers. And don't don't worry because your your website won't be down uh, during that time. So I just need to go over here and simply copy this information. And over here on name server one, simply play, paste this information belonging to Cloudflare, and do the same thing with the one below. And now I just need to press save. Okay, that is done. It might actually take to 48 hours, but commonly it doesn't take so long. Okay, so this is basically the steps that I I did, just did, but it, it's just a brief explanation. And now I just need to press continue. Actually, it's still pending, but I'm going to recheck name server. And you can see success for is now queued up to be rescanned. So this may take actually a couple of hours, but that's how you can start using uh, this service called Cloudflare and it will really help you improve the uploading time for a website quite a lot. And it's so easy for you to use as you just saw. It's just this that you need to do so you can set this up. Okay, that is all for this video. I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe to my channel so you can receive our weekly updates Stay tuned with Pro State Tutorials and bye.